Heavenly Father, thank you for our lives. And Lord, I pray that you use these videos to bring many to accept in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Please help us in every aspect and bring us closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Argon atom. Argon is in period number three, so we know we need three energy shells. Let's fill in our electrons. Two on the inner shell. Then the next shell is eight. And then the next shell after that is eight. Up to eight again. So if we have 18 protons, we have to have 18 electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now let's fill in our nucleus. Atomic number of 18, 18 protons. And we have 39.9, so we have to round that to 40. 39.9 round to 40. What's 40 minus 18 is 22. 22 neutrons. Let's do our formula. Our formula is, they can see this. All right, our formula is negative 18 electrons plus positive 18 protons equals zero net charge. And we can just abbreviate that as NC for net charge. All right, let's take another one from a different. The argon atom, you'll notice that it has three energy shells, that's because it's in period three, and it has eight electrons on the outer shell, that's because it's a noble element, and noble elements have full outer shells of eight electrons on their outer shell, except for helium, and you know, the charge is negative 18 electrons total, plus a positive 18 protons equals a zero net charge. Remember, electrons have a negative charge, protons have a positive charge. We have 18 protons represented by those red Plato uh, balls in the nucleus, and then we have 22 neutrons represented by the blue Plato balls. And that's because the atomic mass is 40 when it's rounded, minus atomic number of 18, which gives us 22 neutrons. Two electrons on the inner shell, eight electrons on the second shell, and eight electrons on the outer shell. So let's go ahead and put our nucleus together. Best as you can, I'd go ahead and try and put this all together. It is a little bit difficult It's uh, to get them as separate as much as possible. It's one of the reasons why they're always moving. They're trying to get to equilibrium, balance, kind of like the Goldilocks principle. So I'm going to speed this up. It's not going to be, everything's not going to be exactly separated, but we'll get it close. Now. This one here, put that in there like this. I'm going to give it a nice squish. Notice there I need a proton kind of in between there. I mean, and neutrons and then protons all together, squishing it as I go. remember that Jesus does love you. My belief is Jesus is God come to the earth. 
died for our sins and rose again on the third day. In fulfillment of the scriptures of what was written about him. So, there is at least a decent representation of the nucleus of an argon atom. Notice eight electrons on the outer shell fulfilling the octet rule for a full outer shell. That's what every atom wants, and that's what drives chemistry.